Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Mr. Philip and this is Metzlit with Philip. And today we have an awesome, awesome topic to cover, which is time. And then time is used in everyday life. And today we're going to discuss about conversion, which comes to hours, converting to minutes, minutes to seconds, then seconds to minutes, and minutes to hours. And then we're going to calculate elapsing time, which is from a.m. to a.m. or from p.m. to p.m. Then elapsing time from a.m to pm let's begin and today we are going to discuss about the time which is we must start with the conversion and then in conversion we must know how to convert which is we must have a metric system time conversion which is also includes hours minutes seconds this is metric system for time we know that hours is made of 60 minutes and we know a minute is made out of 60 seconds to convert from hours to minutes we must we must times by 60 minutes to seconds times by 60 to convert from hours to minutes we must times by 60 then minutes to seconds we must times by 60 from seconds to minutes we must divide by 60 from minutes to hours we must divide by 60 knowing this conversion it might help us to calculate time let's convert 3 hours to minutes How can you calculate 3 hours to minutes? 3 hours to minutes reaches 3 times 60. That will give us 180 minutes. Then from minutes to seconds, we have 180 minutes. Minutes to seconds is still times 60. The answer will be 60 seconds. Now converting 3 hours straight to seconds. We might do this in two methods, meaning we must have that 3 times 60 times 60 or else we can go straight by time zinc on a calculator 60 times 60 it will give you 3600 then you can say 3 hours times 3600 it will give you the same answer as 3 times 60 times 60 same as here here we said 3 times 60 to give us 180 minutes. Then 180 minutes times 6 give us 10,800 seconds. To convert from 3 hours to seconds is 3 times 360. It gives us 10,800 seconds. Now let's convert back from seconds, minutes and hours. If we are given 10,800 seconds to hours 10,800 seconds now we're gonna divide by 3,600 giving us 3 hours if we have 10,800 seconds to minutes or to minutes 10,800 seconds divided by 60 that will give us 180 minutes then 180 
minutes two hours one eight divided by sixty that will give us three hours and now let's calculate the elapsing time if we have two forty five two three thirty we know that both sides are pm afternoon pm afternoon so therefore we can use a different kind of method we'll take the the one that has a largest hour and subtract with the one that has a lower lowest hour in this side we can't subtract 45 from 30 so we must borrow this side this side will be left with 14 then the 60 will come this side plus the three minutes that we already have making 90 making 90 minutes minus 45 that will be left with 40 minutes then 14 minus 14 it will be zero so we have 45 minutes between between 245 to 1530 number two if we had 15 49 to 22 55 22.55 we'll put the biggest hour on top then the smallest hour on the bottom 49 subtract from 55 will be left with 6 minutes then 15 subtract to 22 will be left with 7 hours 7 hours and 6 minutes if we have 4 10 2 8 15 we'll first note that which format are these mid times am am so we'll take the biggest hour on top smallest hour on the bottom subtract 10 from 15 we left 5 minutes subtract 4 from 8 we chef left with 4 and now we're gonna convert the elapsing time from am to pm if we have 9 10 to 15 15 9 minutes past 10 to 15 minutes past 3 9 plus we must convert the minutes to hours back to our metric system we set hours to minutes we times by 60 minutes to seconds we times by 60 seconds to minutes we divide by 60 minutes to hour you divide by 60 now we have 10 minutes we must divide by 60 we we'll get 0, 0,5 we must add to the 9 which is 9 comma 5 hour then we also have the 15 15 plus 15 divided by 60 we also convert it to hours and that will give us 0, 0,25 15, 25 then we, the first thing to do on the row of AM is that the 9 the 10 minutes past 9 is before 12 so we must add 12 and minus 9,5 and come with the remaining minutes and hours 
that will give us 2 comma 5 hour then we must add to the here you won't write 15 we we'll write 3 hence 15 represent 3 but after 12 which is afternoon 3 comma 25 then the answer will be 5 comma 75 hour then we must convert this hour since it's not a complete hour we'll say 5 we'll say 5 0 comma 7 5 hour to minutes is times by 60 we'll say times 60 then it's 5 45 5 hours and 45 minutes and ladies and gentlemen that's it for the day and you shall see me on the next video bye bye